So your memories are held together by um, specific cells and you can alter the cells using drugs so that new connections don't form. And in this case, they are looking at memory in, these, in some studies. In these some studies, they found that by giving a drug, you can prevent people from remembering something. Um, in one case, in this radio show, they're talking about how a rape victim took the drug while she was remembering her rape experience. And then she found later that her emotional experience was somehow diminished, where she was able to talk about it openly and freely. For me, this is the same thing that we do at Destiny, where we use self-forgiveness and understanding, where when we remember something, when we see who we are, bring out a pattern of who we are right here in front of us to investigate, in that moment, we have a moment to change, to change who we are in relation to, um, to that pattern, to that habit. We literally change the pattern and habit, which is information stored within us, which is memory. So we can be something different. And that there we're doing it on purpose. I'm not using a drug. And drug only shows that what's possible on a physical level. And through self forgiveness through will and choice, I've proven to myself that I can do the same. And others have proven to do the same. So I really see this research here showing how you're able to alter memories. This is the exact same thing we're doing through destiny, through self forgiveness. We're altering our memories of who we are which is information stored of who we are, which is the things we do, our habits, our responses, what we feel, what we think. We're literally changing who we are. And that's really the basis of any therapy. Any therapy where anyone ever changes at any time it involves the brain changing, you changing who you are. Anytime you learn anything, your brain changes. Your memories change. The information within you, stored within you, is changed. So we're doing it all the time. The question is, how do we actually access this willpower and live it deliberately? How can we support ourselves to do that? By the very fact that we need therapy, and by the very fact that there are people who aren't able to learn certain things, by the very fact that there are people who have emotional experiences, such as anger, such as hatred, such as sadness, and they live within that, and they stay within that, in a way that is not supportive for them or others, shows that we do not have our own willpower, we do not have self-control, we do not have volition. We're not living within our potential of who we are as human beings.